What's going on y'all? Juan here and today I want to talk about the Radius Windshields Rad 1 and Rad 2 microphone shock mounts. While Radius Windshields is a newer company on the block, the great people behind the brand are veterans with decades of experience with microphone shock mounts and microphone accessories. So out of the box, of course, you'll get your Rad 1 or Rad 2 mount. This is the Rad 2 mount, okay? And most importantly, because I got excited and I didn't even care to read this very important letter that has so much information that you need to know about the shock mount. So please make sure you read that letter because when I first got excited, I noticed that there was a little play on the XLR jumper cable holder and that's totally normal. And I thought that there was something wrong with the mount possibly, but that's not the case. And that's because I didn't read the letter. So make sure you read the letter, okay? Now, you have this black envelope that has two additional hoops. They are light blue hoops that have a softer hardness. So if you want a little bit more of a bounce with your boom operating, you can do that. Out the box, you get the two black hoops already installed. And this is the standard hardness that comes with all of the Rad 1 and Rad 2s fresh out the box. Let's talk about the features and the things that I love about the Rad 1 and the Rad 2. First of all, you can easily confuse the two. They look very alike. And what you wanna look for are the hoops. The Rad 2, they are meant for longer, heavier microphones over the Rad 1. So the hoops are thicker and there's a little difference at the top of the hoops at the bridge. That's how you can tell the difference. The Rad 1s, they're meant more for interior, smaller microphones, your MKH-50s, your Shep CMCs. The Rad 2s, they're meant for exterior microphones. I mean, you can still put the smaller microphones on, especially if you have heavier setups, but the Rad 2 is more meant for your 416s and your Shep CMITs. One of the biggest things that I love about the Rad 1 and the Rad 2 shock mounts is the ability to fully customize the shock mount however you want. If you don't like the XLR jumper cable holders, you can easily take that off. Or if you need to rotate it in any direction for whatever scenario that you're in, you can do that as well. You have your jumper cable holders here just to keep your build as clean as possible and things out the way. You have your rotating knob here. You, know, you can do whatever you want. You want to rake or have the microphone in any position. You have full flexibility to do that. As for me, I did customize my Rad 1, which is what I use the most. So you can change the hoops, you can mix and match. Please make sure you resort back to the letter because there's a certain way that you need to have the hoops, which are opposites. And that's what's gonna give you the optimal performance. Then you have these really cool clips that I really like because there are these rubber latches on the side that once you put your microphone in, and you lock it in with the rubber latch, you have full security on your microphone. If you go to the Radius Windshield social media channels, you will see their shake tests and they shake the shock mounts like crazy and the microphones don't go anywhere. So that's something that I really appreciate from them is you don't have to worry if there's an accidental bump or your boom pole falls to the ground, you don't have to worry about your microphone flying out of your mount and looking for it or damaging the mount. Also, the coating that's inside of these clamps, they are very gentle on the microphone, so they're not gonna scratch the coating of your microphone. And that's also a big plus for me because I like to keep my things looking really nice. As you can see here, this is the Rad 1 that I use a lot, and you can see how I customize and mix and match the hoops because I like to have more bounce on the back of my setup and then use the standard firmness on the front. It's been great. And here's a little look of the jumper cable installed with the XLR jumper cable holder. Um, they do sell their own jumper cables on their website, which the wire is much shorter, so it's a little bit cleaner. But with the holder on the side and how I have my whole setup, it works fine for me. But if you do want a little bit of a cleaner build, they do sell shorter XLR cables. Another really good feature that adds to the customization of the shock mount is you have the ability to move the distance between the hoops, which depending on your setup can be very beneficial in ensuring that you get the best booming experience on your set. So that's another really great thing that you could do with the shock mount. So let's talk about the things that can use improvement. I like to be totally honest when it comes to products and I do understand that there is no perfect product on the market. Overall, this shock mount is amazing, but there are little things that I feel can use improvement. The first is the hoop system, right? 
I use an MKH50 Sennheiser microphone and those microphone bodies are not true cylindrical bodies. So I find it to be a little bit more of a challenge to get that microphone on the shock mount perfectly and quickly. Sometimes the shock mount can be a little crooked and I have to just adjust the microphone a little bit more than I would like to, but that's why you need to show up early and make sure you have ample time to make sure that you're all good to go. Outside of that, when I do use like the 416s or any other cylindrical mics, I find that it's much more of an easier time to get the microphone on and off of the shock mount. That's my biggest gripe about the shock mount. And the second thing that I feel can use improvement is how you can pack and store the shock mount. There are other shock mounts on the market that don't utilize this type of hoop system where you can just toss it in your Pelican, close the Pelican and get to your gig. With this, I like to take care of my things. So I'm always concerned that if I accidentally put this in my Pelican and there's some sort of pressure when I close the Pelican, I just don't wanna bend these. And don't get me wrong, Radius Windshields on their social media platforms, they have stress test videos that shows these things going through some serious abuse. I mean, even as far as getting ran over by a car and they were fine. But like I said, I just like to keep my stuff looking great and making sure that it's performing at the optimal level that it needs to. So maybe a 3D print cover with hard plastic that can just cover this. So if I just toss this in my Pelican and I wanna keep things light and I don't want this taking too much real estate, it could possibly be some cover just to protect it to make sure that it's not getting bent or anything of that nature. But outside of that, is this a little bigger than the average shock mouse that I use? Yes, but the performance of this shock mount is amazing. I ran, I swung the boom pole like crazy, I did interviews, I did a lot of movements in the past two months of using this shock mount, and I got pretty much no handling noise, which to me is the most important thing. Oh, and one last thing is when you're replacing the hoops, just be very cautious when you are removing the screw, you don't wanna strip it, and just take your time with um, removing the screw because you don't want to strip the screw. It was a little tight when I first took it off and replaced the black one with this light blue one. And outside of that, those are like the only gripes that I have about this shock mount. This is their first generation shock mount. So I'm sure in the future there will be some improvements, but this is just my opinion. I'm very excited about the future for the great folks over at Radius Windshields and everything that they have to offer and will offer in the future with some of their other stuff. But yeah, if you are interested and you're looking for a new shock mount, I do recommend this for the US. I know that these retail for $99 and that's both for the Rad 1 and the Rad 2. And that's not a bad price point at all for something that's built as well and gives you the performance that you need as a boom operator to make sure that you're getting the best sound possible. If you wanna learn more about the great folks over at Radius Windshields, please make sure to visit their website. You could check out their amazing backstory. And also, they not only sell microphone shock mounts, but they have other great accessories such as the Nimbus to make sure that you're getting the best sound possible. If you enjoyed this video and review, make sure to hit the like button. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe. Peace.